Welcome to StreetGangs.com SGTV. What I got for you next is an old news clip from 1996 about two white fence members who talk about getting shot. Also featured in the story is my friend Gilbert Salinas, who back in the day was gunned down. He survived the shooting, but it left him a paraplegic, and he's talking about that in the news clip. Today, though, Gilbert is doing a lot of work in the community. He speaks about the consequences of joining gangs. But back in the day, he was representing his neighborhood and even representing it after he got shot. Check out the news clip. He shot three different times. Felipe Herrera has been in the path of a lot of bullets. Got my tin in my hand and the I've been shot a lot of times, you know, and I'm still here. And so has Raul Montano. They're members of the White Fence Gang, East LA's oldest gang. Bullet wounds here are a badge of honor. You just get shot and, you know, it's like it's the first feeling is just hot, you know. Happened so fast. Recently in the back of an East L.A. home, Felipe proudly showed us his bullet wounds. He suggested we meet in the back of the house to avoid being hit by a possible drive-by shooting out front. The last time I got shot, I got shot by close range. So I like, like kind of messed up, you know, a little, little bit in my head, you know. Most people don't survive a single gunshot wound, but the 18-year-old Herrera has lived through three separate shootings, the most recent to his left wrist. Before that, the side of the chest. And finally, the bullet that passed through his right leg and lodged in his left ankle. It's me and a gun and a man on my back. These people also survived being shot. But unlike Felipe and Raul, they didn't walk away. They're confined to wheelchairs for the rest of their lives. I didn't believe that it happened to girls, and you know, it did. Girls get shot. Patricia and the others are members of the Teens on Target program at Rancho Los Amigos Medical Center in Downey. They're living proof that bullets do what they're intended to do, cause pain and suffering. They had no direction, but when it hit, it hit me hard and put me in the chair for the rest of my life. There's no shortage of gunshot victims at this county-run rehabilitation center. The road to recovery is long and painful and expensive. 22% of the patients here are indigent. Most have their bills paid by Medi-Cal. For a young person that ends up in a wheelchair over their lifetime, we're looking at about a million dollars per person. Fidel and the teens on target speak at local schools about the epidemic of violence and firearm injuries in our communities. But for some young people like Felipe Herrera of the White Fence Gang, the message falls on deaf ears. Got a lot of pride in me. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. You ever think that pride might kill you? If it comes down to it, then that'll be it. I'm, I'm down to take another bullet, you know, down from my neighborhood.